from Mona Worst, and from my Real Texas Kitchen, I will be preparing Mom's Pot Roast. Now, this is an old family secret. I remember my mom, she'd be busy going to work, and all day long, she would simmer a pot roast in her slow cooker. So when she came home from work that night, supper was ready on the table, and it was delicious. What we've done is we've taken our olive oil and put it in the bottom of our slow cooker. And now I am using a boneless shoulder roast. You can also get a roast that's called pot roast. You can use any type of roast that's just cut thick. You don't want to use a good rump roast because it's slow cooking to make it really tender and you don't want to use an expensive rump roast. I go ahead and leave the fat on because the fat is kind of what makes it really tender. So we're going to go ahead and place this in the bottom of our slow cooker. And here is the secret ingredient. I use the dry onion soup mix. Now you can get your regular store brand name or any of the other ones, but you just use one packet. And what you're going to do is just sprinkle that over the entire roast. And you'll notice that there are onion chunks and that there is the actual soup mix too. Make sure it's spread evenly over the roast. Now I take two fresh jalapenos, seed them, and cut them in half and place that over the roast next. The reason you want to place it over the roast is as the roast cooks and the lid is on and it's steaming, the jalapeno juice is going to go back into the meat. Now, you can either, when it's cooked, eat the jalapenos or you can toss them, whichever is your preference. Next, I've taken potatoes. Now, you want to keep all of your chunks fairly large because remember, you're going to be slow cooking this for several hours. The smaller the chunk, it would just turn up mushy and it would just dissolve. So you want to, um, if they're smaller potatoes, just quarter them or uh, just go ahead and, and have them, whichever is your preference. Now I go ahead and place these around the edge of the roast. And you kind of want to get them close to the heat source and to the roast because remember, the fat from the roast is actually uh, going to make your potatoes really moist and juicy. Now, if you have a few extra potatoes, you just want to pile them up on the sides like so. So that's how it looks so far. Next, I take my baby carrots, and you can just place these on top of the roast and around the sides. doesn't matter. The reason I use the baby carrots is because carrots are even tougher to cook uh, than the potatoes are. But you can go ahead and slice probably in two inch sections a regular carrot. Uh, the reason you put the carrots on top is they'll cook a little bit faster than the potatoes and the meat. So now that we have all this here uh, in our slow cooker, I turn it on high for one half hour. What that does is it just gets the heat process started and it'll start to cook the meat just a little bit on the bottom. Then I'll turn it to medium and cook it for three to four hours. What we're wanting is when you stick a fork into the meat, the meat actually falls apart. Now if you're going to work, you can go ahead in the early morning, put it on high for an hour, and then turn it on low for six to eight hours. So that's your work day right there. And it'll be ready to go uh, when you get home. By having it on low, it should not burn, even if you had to stay after work just a little bit longer, it shouldn't burn. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on, and I'll see you in several hours. What I've done is I've taken our roast out of the slow cooker and put it in a serving plate. And now what you can do is you can actually take some of the potatoes and mash them a little bit and pour some of the juice over it, and it is delicious. I'm Ramona Worst, and from my Real Texas Kitchen, this is my mom's secret pot roast recipe.